I think something that we said when we were chatting the other day is really important for listeners to hear, which is in considering, you know, Lyme as a potential problem, some of it when we consider this is when things just do not make sense. When it's like they're, you know, people are doing so many good things. They're living a clean lifestyle. They have a lot of the toxins out of their food and water and home. They've done, uh, you know, work with you and remove the, the implants and things that can leak and cause other sorts of toxic issues in the body. And it's like, there's still something major going on. Or another, you know, key thing I think for your audience is, you know, maybe having, I don't know if you see a lot of this, but I would imagine there's certain people where you're doing the removal and it's a hard process. Like the removal, they don't handle it maybe as well. Is that true? Right. So I think, you know, from a neural standpoint, this is a very stressful event that, you know, a lot of people would do. They would be benefited uh, greatly by going through EDMR or other therapy to help them because if someone goes back to a traumatic state, when we'll say in this instance, it's a physical appearance, it creates somewhat unwanted memories from surfacing. So you could get in a very bad neural loop. And we, we see that a fair amount. Well, and another link here that I hear in what you're saying is when we're thinking about you know, the limbic system and that stress response and the need to do some of that neurological reprogramming, you know, it brings us to that conversation of sympathetic, of that fight or flight, adrenaline, nervous system overdrive. And we often see that adrenaline is something that makes the biofilms of Borrelia, the bacteria that causes Lyme, it makes the biofilms stronger and it can actually lead to the biofilms creating a better cell to cell communication network between all the different Lyme bacteria. Well, what, are the, what do we do in, you know, in microbiology when these bacteria communicate better together? That is actually related to their growth, their survival, their proliferation. So, you know, another thing is just like, just like with mold kind of being something that can really create the situation where dormant Lyme all of a sudden rears its ugly head. Well, things that are like bringing up those traumas you're mentioning, right? That, you know, anytime we're bringing up any of those traumas, if we're getting that adrenaline surging through our body, which we probably are, that could be another thing that actually is creating that situation where Lyme's coming out of that dormancy, we're getting that better cell to cell communication. And all of a sudden these symptoms that perhaps were dormant for many years reemerge. Yeah, I 